Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful week. Today I want to talk to you all and just share and have a little fun Friday um, sharing session to talk about my favorite online tools that help me manage my business finances. Now I did a live earlier today sharing seven, but I decided I'm gonna shrink it up, summarize it to five, and we'll go from there. I think that's a really good place to start. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Tess Wicks. I'm a wealth and mindset coach for fellow online coaches and other service-based online entrepreneurs. I help them learn that they can make and manage money with total ease by implementing a simple system and doing a couple mindset tricks and learning the exercises to do to work on their mind. So let's get started. Here are my five favorite online tools to manage my business finances. I don't think I could run my business without these. The first one is my bank account and I have a separate business bank account. I think everyone needs to have a separate bank account for their business if they don't. If you don't, go ahead and get started with this. You are not like late or behind. Now is just the perfect time to start to help you be so much more organized and therefore you can make so much better decisions for your business. So. I won't get into the nitty gritty about business bank accounts, technical business bank accounts versus personal bank accounts. Honestly, if you just have a separate bank account that is technically a personal bank account, that's a great place to start. There's additional benefits that come with having a business bank account for your business, but we won't get into that today. I have a business bank account and I bank with Spark which is a Capital One bank. Um, unfortunately, they have discontinued new members at this point in time. I don't know what they're going to do. I'm holding tight on that. I really hope that they open up to more people because they're such a great product. They allow me to open up as many checking and savings accounts as I want, and they don't require any sort of minimum balance or charge me any monthly fees. And I think that is the gold standard for banks in general, um, especially Especially if you are in the market or on the market for a business bank account, really try to find one that charges you the minimum fees and has very low requirements while offering you the ability to open up multiple checking and savings accounts. I think your best bet is probably to go to your local bank or credit union and talk to them face to face and tell them, hey, this is going to make my life so much easier if I can open up multiple accounts and you know maybe they can do something for you. I do know, I'm pretty sure Bank of America does help you open up multiple accounts, but you may have to visit them in person at a branch. So not quite sure about that, but I will double check and get back to you all in a future video. Anyway, that is my number one tool. The number two is Stripe and PayPal. Now, most people are aware of Stripe and PayPal. They're just payment processors and you generally have to use them in order to accept payment via credit card or debit card that can be run as a credit card. So I use Stripe mostly, but I also have a PayPal account. Um, typically I use Stripe to gather my client's card information and then I will automatically, technically it's manual on my end, but for my client it's then an auto deduction from their account and I can charge them thus for our months of coaching in the future. Um, alternatively, I also use Stripe. It connects through to my course platform and through my course platform, it can set up automatic uh, payments. So Stripe and PayPal are great. Um, they're technically free to set up, but they aren't actually free. You pay a percentage of the revenue that you make. You pay a certain percentage plus a certain amount. It's like 30 cents or something per transaction. So. That's kind of the cost of doing business. And that's what I consider. The third one that I have is not really an online tool, but for me, I consider it pertinent to the success of my business. And that is the terms in my coaching agreement or contract. I have certain terms that let my clients know that they will be charged automatically on the same day every month. Um, also, you know, certain terms around how I expect our calls to happen, how, I need these boundaries in place in terms of time because for me, my time is money. And so these are all laid out in my agreement and my client and I both agree on them. We both sign the contract. And that is really important because 
eventually, you know, that is a financial agreement as well. And that's important for me to have in place so that my boundaries can be respected and I can run my business appropriately. So although it's not technically an online tool, it's a great tool to have and really important for my business. And it's a financial tool. I consider it both a legal and a financial tool. The fourth tool that I use is a bookkeeping software. Now you can use any sort of bookkeeping software as long as you actually use it. It's a great way to keep your business organized, but I also use my bookkeeping software to pull the numbers so that I can conduct my CFO days. I just put them in quotes because that's what I call it. I do these once a month and they really help me project forward the month or couple months ahead for my business, making decisions based off of what's happened in the past month and also do a really good review of the past month. So it's really important I use my bookkeeping software because those gather all of my numbers. I can check my inflows and my outflows, make sure I'm invoicing. If I need to invoice a client, I try not to, but I still create invoices so I can make sure that I'm getting paid and organize my finances appropriately. If you don't have a bookkeeper, you can always use a really great bookkeeping software. I use Xero, but there's also QuickBooks and FreshBooks. Alternatively, you could use a company called Bench who will do your bookkeeping for you and then they use their own bookkeeping software and that is a really great tool as well. The fifth and final tool that I use is my financial dashboard. This is something that I have created for myself and for my clients and I use it for everything. Pretty much every tool I've talked about already feeds into my financial dashboard. It helps me really fully conduct those CFO days that I talked about, really go through the projections and looking forward. It helps me set my goals for the quarter and for the year, which I call my purpose-driven revenue goals. That helps inform my pricing, helps inform my launch, strategy and my calendar and they help me conduct my payday parties. My payday parties are super fun. I do them twice a month and I actually host payday party workshops once every one to two months. And I'm actually hosting my next one on August 26th, that whole week into the next week, the first start of September. So if you're ready to start planning for kind of the final quarter of the year, let's call it, or even into 2020, this might be a perfect opportunity for you. Through these workshops, we look at your purpose-driven revenue goal and help you define it. But plus, we also help you implement your very own payday party. And we conquer some mindset stuff too, because mindset is a huge part of our business as well as part of our money story and working with money. And you need to understand what may be blocking you so you can move forward. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go to wanderwealthy.com slash party to learn more about what goes into a payday party and what it looks like. But you'll also get a sneak peek at my financial dashboard, which I use with my coaching clients and get a piece of that dashboard if you sign up for a payday party. So you can get on the guest list at wanderwealthy.com slash party. And if you wanna find out more about setting purpose-driven revenue goals, and you can also get into the funnel to see what the payday party is all about, you can also sign up for my easy profit roadmap, which you can find by going to wanderwealthy.com slash roadmap. It's a free download. You can get it, learn my process, and do some easy profit math and set those purpose-driven revenue goals. So those are the five online tools that I use in my business to help manage my business finances. And it even might bleed into my personal finances. So they're so important and so useful for me. I hope you can use this and it will motivate you or inspire you to look into incorporating some tools into your business so you can see that making and managing money can be easy, can be simple, and it can be fun. All right, until next time, I hope you wonder wealthy.